Hello everyone! Welcome back to Teen Book Tuesday. My name's Joanna. This week I have to admit to you all a bit of procrastination. I'm currently in the middle of this book. It's called A Winter's Promise by Christelle Davos. It is the first book in the Mirror Visitor series, which is a series of four books, um, which has been a big deal in France for the past couple of years, and they finally came out with an English translation, which is really cool. So because of my own uh, poor time management skills and unrealistic expectations of how long it would take me to read 500 pages, I'm not done with it yet, but it's really good and I can't wait to finish it. Anyway, what is A Winter's Promise about? so far. Ophelia, our main character, is 18 years old and there are four very interesting things about her. First, she can travel through mirrors. So for example, um, she can go from a mirror uh, on the other side of town to the mirror in her bedroom in, in like two seconds. It's really cool. Although there does seem to be some sort of distance limitation, um, like uh, mirrors that are farther apart than maybe a couple miles or so, um, she can't travel between. Second cool thing, she can read objects. She can touch them and know all about their history and the emotions associated with them. And for that reason she wears gloves most of the time so she, her skin doesn't come in direct contact with whatever she's touching. Third cool thing, she has a bewitched magical scarf that spends most of its time curled up around her neck like a sleepy puppy dog. Um, however, it did try to strangle her at one point in the past. Fourth cool thing, she lives up in, in a world that is made up of arcs, and arcs in this uh, particular world are these huge floating sky islands um, that you can kind of see on the cover of the book here, and each one of them is governed by an immortal ancestral family spirit. At the beginning of the book we learn that Ophelia has been betrothed for political and diplomatic purposes to some guy from an arc far far to the north where it's very cold. When we meet him, we realize very quickly that he has some weird situations going on. Someone just tried to assassinate him, he has a weird aunt who lives in a bewitched house, and he keeps telling Ophelia someone is out to get her. And at the point where I'm currently reading, Ophelia has just arrived in her new home and she's starting to find out how weird things are. In a lot of reviews, A Winter's Promise has been recommended for people who are fans of uh, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman, and so far, I haven't gotten all the way through it yet, but so far I would also probably recommend it if you really liked the book slash movie Howl's Moving Castle. Um, so far it feels kind of similar to me. And very likely I will be staying up late tonight to finish this one because it's really good. That's all for this week. I'll see you all later.